Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we could discuss Mr. Wong in Chinatown. This is the third movie in the Mr. Wong series, and the story is that a woman comes into Mr. Wong's office trying to hire him for a case, but before she can even get a conversation in, she gets hit with a poison dart in the neck, and she dies. But before she dies, she scrawls some crucial, crucial information down on a piece of paper, but it's only a partial it's only a partial name. And the rest of the movie follows Mr. Wong as he tries to take what little bit of evidence he has and get this case figured out. So I thought this movie fell in line pretty much with the previous ones in the series. I thought it was solid. I thought it was definitely watchable. It's super brisk. It's only 70 minutes. There's very little wasted time. The story is good. There's no big relevatory twists and turns. There's really nothing here that like will make you stand up and take notice. But it's just an enjoy it's like just an enjoyable watch. It's a solid murder mystery. It doesn't leave a lot of an impression or really stick with you, but it's it's just it's a fun little murder mystery to watch. Boris Karloff is back, and of course, as always, the casting is questionable, but he does good in the role. Grant Withers is back, as well as the rude police police detective. Marjorie Reynolds comes in here, and she sticks around for this movie and the next two movies. The cast is fine. All the performances are fine. There's just not a lot about these movies that stand out, but they're really watchable. I mean, that's ultimately what it comes down to. If you want to watch a, a quick, brisk murder mystery with a solid cast and a decent story... These movies fill that, but if you're looking for like a wild or memorable or super creative murder mystery, you're not going to find that here. So I watched this as part of the Mr. Wong collection from uh, KL Studio Classics. I did receive this for review, but it does not affect the review. The transfer here is great. The movie looks super clear and clean. It's still got film grain, so it looks like it should. I was really impressed with how much how much detail there was here. There's no extra specifically for this film, but you do get the you get four other movies in the series plus an audio commentary track on the first movie. So it's a pretty solid release from KL Studio Classics. I like this movie. I thought it was solid. I wasn't like dazzled by it, but it definitely got the job done. So that's my review of Mr. Wong in Chinatown. If you want to read more, go to my website, markfusion.com, and check that out, or right here on YouTube in my movie review playlist. But thank you for watching this one. I do sincerely appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.